Jamie wants to know the volume of his gold ring in cubic inches. He gets a rectangular glass with base 3 inches by 2 inches. So you see that here, the base is 3 inches by 2 inches. And fills the glass 4 inches high with water. So you see that over here, 4 inches high with water. Jamie drops his gold ring in the glass and measures the new height of the water to be 4.25 inches. So this is after the gold ring is dropped. What is the volume of Jamie's ring in cubic inches? Well, when you start with this water right over here and you add his ring, whatever that volume is of his ring, it's going to displace an equal volume of water and push it up. And so the incremental volume that you now have is essentially going to be the volume of his ring. Well, what is the incremental volume here? Well, it's going to be the volume, if you think about going from this before volume to the after volume, the difference is the base, the base stays the same. It's three inches by two inches. The difference is, I should make it a little bit, draw a little bit neater. The base is the same. The difference, the difference is the height. The height now is 4.25 inches after dropping in the ring. So the water went up by 0.25 inches. So it went up by 0.25, let me write that, 0.25 inches is what the water went up by. So we could just think about what is this incremental volume going to be? What is this incremental volume that I'm drawing going to be? So this incremental volume right over here that I'm shading in the purple. Well, to figure that out, we just have to measure, we just have to multiply the length times the width times the height times 0.25. So it's just going to be, it's just going to be 3 times 2 times 0.25. 3 times 2 is 6 times 0.25. And you could do that either on paper, or you might be able to do that in your head. 4 times 0.25 is going to be 1. And you have 2 more times 0.25, that's going to be 0.5. So this is going to be 1.5. 1.5. And we multiplied inches times inches times inches. So this is going to be in terms of cubic inches. 1.5 cubic inches is, is the volume of Jamie's ring, which is actually a pretty sizable volume for a gold ring. Maybe he has a very uh, big finger, or he just likes to spend, or I guess his, his, his whoever bought him the ring likes to spend a lot on gold.